Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the Cucumber Tags concept. Cucumber Tags is very easy. Uh, it is a great way to organize your features and scenarios. Uh, we can use this in several places like the on top of future keyword scenario, scenario outline or also the examples. Tags can be used in conditional format like AND, OR or the NOT condition. It is similar to your grouping concept in TestNG. If you are aware of TestNG, it's very similar to that. Uh, that's it. It's a very simple concept. Let's take a um, real time example. So already we have like two feature files where we have like one feature file with two scenarios and another one is basically like scenario with um, scenario outline with example. Okay. So consider that um, like in our runner file, we have all the feature files, right? So basically like it is going to execute all the feature files, but sometimes like we don't want to execute everything rather we just can focus on particular module or also we can say like particular uh, scenarios based on like uh, smoke regression or maybe the prod one okay so while writing the feature file we can just add the tags and based on the tags it's going to execute let me give you an example so already we executed this yesterday video like we know that it's going to execute uh, all the uh, features right so for example if i go to this particular uh, okay i think i have deleted the reports let me refresh yeah so when i say like sic test slash java slash features that means all the features files within that particular folder is going to execute but now let's see how to use the tags concept or also we can call it like grouping concept okay so i just wanted to run my positive scenario i am not worried about my negative scenario okay so in this case let me add like on top of your scenario you can say like at the rate and then followed by you can say something like uh, let's name it like smoke okay so this is how we have to declare the tags how to use it is very simple go to your runner file and then you can add something like tags here and basically it accepts accepts an array and within the array we can give like at the rate at the rate smoke okay make sure your capital case in case sensitive it is and also the spell should be exactly same okay now if i go and run this even though we have like two scenarios and uh, two scenario outlines it is going to execute only one scenario that is tagged with the word called smoke so here you can see like we got only the positive and it says like it ran only the scenario one scenario and one six steps okay so that's a very simple thing and it's you can say like login should be success only that has been executed now just in case consider that you want to execute all the other features or other scenarios which is not only smoke okay so if i go and here if i say like not at the rate smoke that means now let's see what happens it is going to execute rest of your features and the scenarios but it is going to exclude only the smoke okay so other than login should be success it's going to execute all the other feature files and the scenarios let's see so now we can expect like three uh, scenarios to be run right so here you can see like we got the exact thing exact thing like three scenario runs with 16 steps where you can see like one is the add to cart another one is also add to cart uh, scenario outline with example and another one is like login should not be success and here we can say like it is like uh, login should be success okay so we have said like not not in the sense what not in the sense like other than that basically it's just exclude other than that it will execute all that stuff okay now if i don't uh okay let's assume that we have multiple right sometimes uh, the smoke can also be used in the regression as well right so here i can i can say like it's going to be my regression and this scenario is also part of my regression okay 
So in this case, what will happen in the sense like whenever I say like I want to execute the regression, basically it will execute both these scenarios. Okay, let us go and check that. So I'm going to remove the smoke and here I'm going to say like at the rate regression, which is dot allies as reg. Okay, so it completed with the login should be success and now it should be like login should not be success. So it executed uh, both these scenarios which are regression. But you can use the AND OR condition as well. For example, I want to execute only the scenario which is going to be part of my smoke as well as regression. Okay, so here I can say like something like this smoke uh, space uh, regression or regression space smoke. Okay what will happen in this case in the sense like wherever okay, we are getting error because i think i have missed the comma so here you can see like it says like tag expression exception syntax error expected operator okay what is the operator operator is basically my comma here okay uh, i believe it should be comma or else we can separate within double quotes yeah so it's executing but it's giving us some warning let us understand that as well so it's going to run the um okay it ran both because of course the regression is also part of your smoking smoke test okay so it says like support will be new from the next group use and or condition instead of this okay so basically like we have to use and or condition so we cannot we can use the smoke comma as well okay okay uh, sorry i'm just going to say like and condition that means like in the feature file whenever there is a smoke and the regression i'm going to execute this okay so it's just like your and or the r condition right when i say r means like it will check if there is one at a place it will execute and means if both are there then only it will execute for example it is it has executed like login should be success and if i go here only we can say like login should be success which is smoke and the regression if i say like smoke or regression then definitely it is going to execute all the both the scenario files okay let's consider that we have to execute the prod as well as the regression right so we can do that very easily so go to your runner file and within the tags you have to say like uh, at the rate prod and then followed by comma then followed by at the rate um regression so when we include like multiple tags you should not use the and or or not conditions basically so like within the comma separated you can use like multi multiple uh tags okay but this has been discouraged now in the recent version of uh cucumber it's going to change but for the version like whatever we are using it's going to be very same uh, so nothing to worry about that and here itself we can see the warning like is suggesting us to use the and or condition instead of like comma but in case if you want to use probably you can use it okay so it's just a warning not a, nothing to worry so here you can select to add to cart that is from my scenario outlines and one is like login should be success and login should not be success so it's basically like it's your uh regression where we have both these scenarios if you want to execute only the smoke probably you can do that okay now other than scenario and scenario outlines we can also use the tags in our feature so for example let's say that this is going to be my uh end to end scenario okay this is going to be my end to end scenario and if i want to execute only this feature file right so let's go and comment this one i want to comment this let's comment this control slash to comment and if i go to my runner file and if i use like uh at the rate and at the rate is like your kind of cucumber syntax you have to use like at the rate symbol just to let it know like this kind of tags okay now if i go and run this so basically like whenever there's a feature match basically it's going to execute that one okay so here you can say like it's basically running my add to cart uh feature file because of course we have the e2e tag over there okay 
so yeah that's it very simple thing now apart from this we can also use like scenario with examples for example uh let's say that we have two examples here okay so let it format and one is going to be like my let's just give it like one and here i'm going to say like two okay so i can probably give a good naming or let's say that this is going to be my uh prod data and this is going to be my uh test environment data okay so based on the tag you can execute okay so if i say like um prod it's going to take this example if i say like test it's going to take this particular example okay but here my scenario outline is like prod so how it will work let's go and check this even i'm not sure about it so here i'm going to say like at the rate test and let's say that this is going to be some other book for example here i can give like rumi skoshik and i'm going to have like only one outline just to check how does it really works let's go and execute this one more time let's see whether it's going to execute properly or not yeah so basically like on top of example whatever we are going to give based on that it's going to work so here you can select it's type like Romy skoshik which is absolutely fine and here you can see like it didn't enter the password itself and just try to log in so that's the issue actually in our script not with the application um so here we have like enter username username and password so if i go to the step definition oh, we are not entering the password at all is it that's the big mistake actually Where is password? This is the one. I have to copy this line. Let's go to our add to cart. Here I'm going to give my password. Okay, now our script, all the script should pass technically. Okay, I'm just going to check like whether it's able to pass or not. So let's go to the runner file and I'm going to comment this tag itself and I'm going to execute this. And it says we have error because we have extra comma. Okay, this is fine. Let's go and run this one more time. How did I miss it? No one even commented about that, which is very bad. Okay, it's not typing any data now why no idea the so login is success and it added some data which is fine again login is success it is trying to do something not sure what it's trying to do okay so my test got completed and now here you can select it says like why because we have two examples and there are two failures and the failure reason is basically let's go to the reporter we can see that better so if i go to my reporter which is cucumber reports and index.html um, um this is expected so we don't have this test data so it's, it should fail that is expected and one more is failing because like it's not able to search roomies this mat option is not available but i don't think it has typed over there so yeah so one is expected another one it just got failed for some reason uh, which is okay absolutely fine we'll see that in some other video okay 
So just to give you a quick recap, if you want to use the tags, you can use it. You, it is basically like your grouping concept in from TestNG. So on, you can use the tags on top of your feature file, on top of your scenario outline, scenario and examples, not the background. Okay, and you can use multiple conditions like and or or the not. Not is basically the negotiation, like neglecting. Like other than that, it will execute everything whereas if you want to check like if this both are there you should run in the sense you can use the and condition if you want to have like multiple you can use the comma separated values okay so that's it for this video if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments or in our discord so bye bye take care and i will see you in the next one with the hooks concept